the air with the siren thanks for calling in man hey logan how are you it's a pleasure to finally get to speak with you so for the uh for the sake of our uh, listeners here why don't you uh why don't you tell them where we might know you from and where they might have heard you before well i've been doing music for a long time now uh my first band was machine head i was an original co-founding member and co-wrote on the, the first two albums um and then i was in soulfly for about a year during that first album cycle and then I had a band called Medication. We did an album, and that lasted about a year and a half before I started producing. And so I went into studio mode around 12 or 13, 14 years ago. That's been a long time. Uh, and I started just working as a producer and mixer and writer and then got into some other visual media stuff like video game music and film and TV and uh, I've worked with some really great bands. You know, Logan, I was doing, uh, I was looking back through the history of everything, and it's certainly a six degrees of separation from a uh, number of people who you have played with, who you have produced, and then it kind of, you know, circles back around to where we are going today and what's new and what's coming up for you. And we've got this brand new band that's coming out. It features Travis Johnson from In This Moment. Right. And we've got Brian Jackson, who are still working with Skin Lab now. You've got Matt Snell who was the original bassist from Five Finger Death Punch, which you worked on their first record. And yeah. uh, we're back in with Hamilton. So This record is pretty well-rounded creatively. But it's, uh, you know, there's a couple of sort of rap rock songs on it, and the rest of it, it's just like really just good metal and like rock crossover at that moment. Um, it's just amazing guitar riffs, good tempos you get the crowds going and a lot of good vocal hooks and it's got a lot of aggression and it's got a lot of emotional content it's really believable uh the way it's come together it's really fluid and and uh one of those things like that just happens everyone's in the right place at the right time i only just talked to brian about this project the idea of it when i got back from europe like a month ago Mm -hmm. a little over a month ago, and we started working on a record like January 1st, put the pedal to the metal, and just jumped in, they had a few songs going, and we started writing together, and it's like, it's almost done now, um, and we're really, really happy with it, and everyone involved is just like, and we're just doing what feels good, there's no agenda really, it's all just like, it's all feeling really good. And like you said, it's kind of definitely all coming together at the right time, and it seems to be the right mix of people. So how about how you tell us a little bit about the process. How does it go on a daily basis, especially at the, the rate you guys are working? You're doing it so quickly. Uh, it's, it's locked out the time here. I'm in Las Vegas, and Brian lives in Vegas. I'm just here for a little while. I've got my studio set up. So every day, I pretty much haven't taken a, million, a couple of days off here and there to go visit my kids. But we come in every day. At the crack of noon, or one. <laughs> and, Starbucks uh, in hand, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the drink of choice in Starbucks? Uh, I drink Americano. I don't know if he drinks like some crazy. <laughs> it's like, like a science experiment. White mocha, 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 white First thing to get you guys going in the morning, which I'm very surprised. I mean, you know, Rich and I were kind of joking over here while we're waiting for you guys to call in. I said, you know what? The sun is still up. I don't think anybody used to is used to doing stuff this early, but you guys always kind of have a, a jump first thing in the morning. And do you find that that kind of influences, like, any creative energy that you may have? You know, we're not 9 to 5 by any means. Like, <laughs> last night, I was in here working on the top line for one of these songs until about 3.30 in the morning, and I didn't even go to sleep till 5. Jeez. And, yeah, I do, I do good at night. It's quiet. And, uh, I so, do, but I can work in the daytime, so I'm pretty flexible. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm always ready to go. Basically. For those of our listeners just tuning in and you're wondering what's going on, we are talking to Logan Mater from Machine Head. 
uh, fame, and we're also with the uh, the new band coming up, Nvidia. And uh, we, we got you calling in from Las Vegas. You guys are getting ready to uh, you're doing the recording over there. What else do you have then coming up for you going forward? Um, well, there's a, I'm doing an EP for a new, another new band that's out of Denver called Against Himself. And, uh, and that's going to start in the middle of February. So I think an NVIDIA record will be almost done by then. i got to switch gears to do this an EP for a couple of weeks with other band and then put the finishing touches on NVIDIA like the beginning of March. And uh, what's going on after that? I'm, I'm working on getting some touring for a spring and summer for a lot of humans and I want to get back out there again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't have anything on find at the moment. And, and that's kind of it. Like, uh, I do a lot of missing for guys from all over the world to hit me up through social media or just get my email and write me and they're like, oh, you're missing my record. So, <laughs> Darth Vader, Logan. Oh, Darth, Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, that, that one just wrote itself. <laughs> um, <laughs> that one's kind of easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, you have a lot of bands, uh, agents, and uh, everyone who reaches out to you. What is it about an artist or a project that makes you decide, yes, I want to be involved with producing this record? I've been fortunate that I get to work with like really talented people that do music that they believe in and that makes you feel something, makes me feel something, and that's all that matters. Even if it's like you know melodic death metal from Greece, like a man called Death Express that I worked with recently, or you know a five hundred death punch or. And then, like in video, that's more melodic and more rock based. Like, I like all subgenres of rock and metal as long as it's really heartfelt and, and special in some way or another. So, I, I can't complain. I'm starting to work on it. Just like doing what I love for a well, living. Sure. Just, you know, if you're so. doing what you love, it'll never feel like work, that's for sure. So, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your new project that you've got going on right now with Once Human? Okay, so yeah, I started a band called Once Human. Just God, it's like only been a year and a half since I started the band. I put the first record out in September, so that was only God, it was only four months ago. So uh, we toured in America in August and September as direct support for Fear Factory, mm-hmm. and we did a club tour, and that was awesome. It was the first tour of that band, and then we went as direct support. For Fear Factory on the Demanufacture 20th Anniversary Tour in Europe, with all over Europe and UK in November and December. Mm-hmm. We just came for Christmas, and it was a successful tour. We've gotten a lot of good reviews, bumps from the crowds, and that felt good. Like I had not played for many, many years, and when I started working with my singer Warren Hart, I just got the itch to play again. And uh, working with her as a producer it was a production deal type thing, and then I just. I was writing a lot of our music and started to feel attached to it. And I thought, like, I want to I wanna play again. I, wanna, I don't want to stop producing, but I want to keep playing. So, like, How's the dynamic between the two of you on stage? Uh, the stage dynamic is amazing. Like, I didn't, I mean, she's been natural, and I, I do my thing, and I brought a great second guitar player, and bass player, and this drummer that it really works. And, uh, and it's a new band, so it does take time to kind of develop that special chemistry that comes over the course of like 50 shows, then 100 shows, and it's like a different band as it evolves. But we've got all the, the fundamentals there, and uh, it feels right. But Lauren had never been on stage before this band, and I took a risk and like, had the, the instinct that she, I knew she would pull it off. So yeah, so the first time she ever played on stage in a band was the first Fear Factory show of the U.S. tour. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, and it was like just from the first note, she was just on fire, and the crowd loved it, and she was amazing, and so I felt a big sense of relief and pride, you know, and just like, but as, there was a part of me that was like, oh, I haven't tested this yet, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, had a, I had a good instinct, and I did so, so yeah, I just keep I keep busy and uh, I love what I do, and I'm gonna keep doing it. Good. Well, we're happy to have you on the station, and thank you very much for calling in and all the time that you've uh, given for us today. And um, you know, we'd definitely love to uh, to get anything out there that you have coming up. Definitely send me if you guys have new tracks or something you're looking to promote. Send it this way. We'll get it onto the rotation. <laughs> Nvidia is one to look out for, for sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're, we're waiting for that one very we were... impatiently. Very cool. Thank you, Logan. All right. Cool. Take it <laughs> Bye. Easy.